They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Way down to bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot! With six tenths of a second remaining! So, I gave it a week. I told you this video was on the way. Um, SmackDown just aired last night. Uh, or Friday night, depending on when I drop this video. Um, Triple H, immediate impact on making WWE better is in full effect. Friday night, Karrion Cross has returned from WWE. Him and his wife, Scarlett, they were part of the budget cuts for all these damn superstars getting released. One of the main people in NXT, so you know that's exactly uh, the type of people uh, Triple H like his NXT people. But Triple H has done a great, great job of just new, fresh thing, giving opportunities, new, fresh matchups. It's not the same fucking rivalry. That's not really a rivalry every fucking week. Carrying Cross. I heard rumors that maybe uh, Sasha Banks and Naomi, they going to be returning back. Um, I guess they already reached the deal, so and I, which I honestly think is true because we haven't seen the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship since they left. So that may be a way that they just bring them back. Um, Karen Cross is the start of a lot of people that they need to bring back. Braun Strowman, Johnny Gargano, uh, shit, it's too bad Samoa Joe and AEW, because Samoa Joe, he deserved to be world champion when he was in WWE. Now that Brock Lesnar is gone, too, as of right now, you know, Brock Lesnar was a Vince McMahon dude, so, I don't know, you never know, Brock may come back, you know, do a little quick hype match, but no more him and Roman. That match that they had at SummerSlam... That was it. That was good. That was the perfect match to end their rivalry. And story rivalry at that. Perfect. Perfect fucking perfect. If you didn't watch that match, watch that match. Um, at SummerSlam. Um, I'm trying to think of who else before I talk about the main person. If not, I can't think of nobody, but that leaves the door open for Bray Wyatt, which everybody been speculating and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because he just hasn't done anything. He hasn't done no nothing. He hasn't appeared nowhere. I know he working on some type of movie or whatever the case may be. So people waiting on that. Triple H can get Bray Wyatt to come back because I know. Bray Wyatt, I mean, Triple H believed in Bray Wyatt when nobody else did, and then he took off, and then all this other shit happened, but that theme character, or even the, the, the work, the eater of worlds, Bray Wyatt is needed with WWE, but Triple H, kudos to you, he actually living up to what the fuck he said, I know this moment has been coming for a long time, and Props to CM Punk for being a prophet in 2011, where he said that this place, WWE, will be better off when Vince McMahon is gone, but he was talking about the other gone, um, and, but the super fact that it's gonna be taken over by his, by his, uh, his stupid daughter and his idiotic son-in-law. <laughs> what a coincidence that CM Punk called that shit in 2011, and look at it now, but WWE going in a good direction, like I said, Bray Wyatt has to come back, I like Carrying Cross, or at the time he was called Killer Cross, um, he was appearing in certain places, whatever, whatever, but I don't think he was necessary signed to anything, um, perfect, 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 perfect setup, now you got Drew McIntyre, with Roman Reigns and then Karrion Cross waiting in the shadows and then Theory still waiting in the shadows, which they might as well just take that, drop that m money in the bank because Triple H don't give a fuck about Theory. That was Vince McMahon's dude. So I'd be shocked if they let him win the title and then he lose it in his first defense. Just to not have that track record 
of having the money in the bank and then losing it and then all that other stuff. But Karrion Cross, I like Karrion Cross versus Roman Reigns. I like Karrion Cross versus Drew McIntyre. Powerhouse dudes. SmackDown starting to lift up because Raw starting to lift up with all the the women's uh, division with Bailey, Il Sarai, and and uh, Dakota Kai. That shit, Bianca Belair, now Becky going back to the man, uh, gimmick, and all this other shit. So it's real, real exciting. Tommaso Ciampa, which was a beast in NXT, he just has to break away from Miz and be his own man. So him versus Bobby Lashley for United States title. Triple H is making United States title be uh, a relevant fucking title more than a world title at the moment. So Triple H is doing everything that he said and I'm happy for it. You know, I'm just waiting for the you know, the better matches, you know all that other shit. So we starting to get a sneak peek and with carrying cross that just opens up the door. All the wrestlers that they fire or this man fire, Triple H is trying to bring the motherfuckers back because they need it. Kudos to Triple H. But if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell. I'll see y'all in the next video.